I recently did something I always wanted to do. I took my parents out for a nice dinner in a very expensive restaurant. And now ordering is very difficult with my dad because he has to make sure everybody's on the same page. <laughs> Kenny, are you on the veg shijuan page? <laughs> I'm on the veg shijuan. You are not on the veg shijuan page. You are still in soup. <laughs> Kenny, come to veg shijuan page. I'm like, Dad, I can't because I don't have a menu because waiters do this weird thing. When they distribute the menu, they, they guess who's educated or not. <laughs> Like you get it, no, you you don't. You get it, you no. Okay, you look like you wanna pay. You take it. It's like they don't have enough money. Like it's my precious. <laughs> you only have four in the world. You can't print more. It's awesome. And waiters, <laughs> I like wait, waiters are very different in different restaurants. Okay, like waiters, I love. I love like the, the more boring the restaurant is, the less of shit they give about you. It's like it's a privilege to have him like, uh, uh, the designer can't play. <laughs> the complete opposite if you go to an expensive restaurant, that annoying, that annoying middle, hi sir, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Please take a seat, are you having a good time? Are you having a good time? Yeah? Sure? Okay, bye. <laughs> In the middle of the meal, it's like, oh hi, I was watching you from there. <laughs> and uh, I hope you're having a good time. You like the food? You like the food? You better like the food, huh? <laughs> I don't have a family, I have no one to talk to, but... Did you marry me? No, okay. Waiters in, waiters in normal restaurants don't give a crap. Like, they will, they will get pissed off if you send something back. It's like, sir, it's, it's my salt in here. You're a salt. Waiters will try the entire, entire meal to convince you to do something, which is something my family did that no middle class family has ever done in a restaurant, in an expensive restaurant. We ordered dessert. <laughs> yeah, we ordered dessert. And the reason no middle class family orders dessert is because of your logic every dad applies. Why are we paying 150 rupees for one scoop of ice cream? When outside for 70 we need 1 kg vanilla. That's a buy one get one because 2 kg bro. There's a standard rule, by the way, of ordering in a Chinese restaurant. My mom loves Chinese, so we always go to a Chinese restaurant. The standard rule of ordering, which is one fried rice, one noodles, and one gravy. Sometimes we feel crazy and we order two gravies. That's why. So that is it. I was paying, we finished the meal, and my mom was like, hey, what else have you ordered? My dad was like, what the hell did you just say? I'm like, dad, calm down. It's on me. So we ordered another noodles, okay? Poor thing, my mom could finish it. <laughs> the middle class people get it. The rich people are like, yeah, what's, up? what's the big deal? No. In the middle class family, you don't waste food. Especially non veg noodles, man. So what does my dad decide to do? Everybody, teamwork. Everyone eat it together. Come on, we can finish it. You want yours to eat. Come on. And the waiter came to take one noodles like this, sir. No, no, parcel this. Tomorrow dinner is sorted. You can eat it. It's nice. You guys can clap. Ah, sweet. Thank you. You guys are not doing shit. My God. These rich people, no? Say, oh, God. Okay. Okay, I'm going to check again. How many of you guys have ever called for the manager in a restaurant? Huh? Come on, come on. Don't lie. How many guys call for manager? Yeah? Anyone from here? Yeah, you have? You have? You have? Okay, you guys are rich. Okay? I'll tell you why. When poor people have food, no? At the end of it, they thank God. Like, thank you, we got food and they leave. That's, that's we're grateful that we have food in our belly. Rich people know, I don't like this, call the manager. I love managers. They are these mystical creatures that appear. Like, ninja. Like, Hi, good evening, man. Uh, uh, I heard you had a tingling in my, you know, <laughs> managerial DNA. Love managers. They all look the same. They're all wearing that same retarded black blazer that does not fit them. It's never gone for dry cleaning, by the way. It's like they hand down that, that, that blazer from generation to generation. <laughs> in a manager family, when a child is born, it doesn't say, oh, Mama, Papa, it's just goody, ma'am, can I help you, ma'am? Is there a problem, ma'am? Do you want dessert? Do you want dessert? Huh? No. Call the manager. That's the thing, like, poor people hate choices. Like, we know what we want to buy. 
before we leave the house. It's very clear, that's when we left the house. Okay? These people have this privilege, well, I'll see what I want. That's insane, like I don't know how that feels. Like you go to a restaurant, like, uh, because of my show that I travel a lot, go to five star hotels, best place. Because there's like good mix of people who are not used to this environment and rich people, okay? But people hate choices, like there's this guy trying to order coffee. He's like, hi, I want uh, one coffee. Sure, sir, light, uh, you want a uh, cappuccino? Espresso? <laughs> First one. <laughs> Sure, light, medium, dark, lethargic. <laughs> Give coffee! And he ran away. Never, they never came back. Rich people completely opposite, very specific. I want eggs that are poached. And while you're beating them, please be gentle. And kiss them goodnight. I also want all grey tea given to me by old grey himself. The waiter has no idea what to do, so he calls the manager. Hi, ma'am. I, uh, I heard you wanted some uh, old grey, huh? Sure, ma'am. Give me 15 minutes, it'll be done. You can tell the manager anything. I want UFO. Give me 15 minutes. I will find alien life on other planets and come back. Managers do this thing where they go to the corner into their manager room and they discuss what you just told them. With, if, but it's nothing to do with what you're saying. Like, uh, one single, one single. Young cheese, yeah, but it's all the way to the road. Hi, ma'am, I just spoke to the head chef. I'm so sorry to inform you. It's like a baby died. I'm so sorry to inform you, but we don't have all great tea today. I'm so sorry. It's being looked into. Two people were killed inside. 